how do you solve x squared minus 2x plus 4 using the quadratic formula? So when they're asking us to solve it, they're asking us to find the zeros. And I describe what the zeros are. It makes this quadratic function equal to 0, right? So they're asking us for the values of x, which makes this quadratic equal to 0. And the quadratic formula is mainly reserved for when you cannot factor. So when you cannot factor, that means that you need to use a quadratic, quadratic formula. And in most cases, you can use it in general. But it's a lot of computation, and a lot of people stray away from it. And the quadratic formula is going to be negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, where ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? So a, b, and c are the coefficients, and you just need to plug them in, and you'll find your values of x, which satisfy this quadratic function or equation. OK. so. Using this formula here, we have uh, negative negative 2 plus or minus uh, negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times uh, 4 divided by 2 times 1. OK, if we simplify this, we get 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 times negative 16, which is negative 12, and we have 2. All right, so at this point of the, uh, the, the, the uh, formula here, we see here that we have a square root of negative 12. And that brings us a lot of worry because like in the previous question here, we said that the square root of negative number cannot is not defined. And that is partially true because the square root of a negative number is not defined on the real number value set, okay? but. Mathematicians have avoided this and have circumvented this uh, problem by setting up a new imaginary number set, and we call it i. So i is basically the, equal to negative, the root of negative 1, and that helps us to circumvent what we have here. So we have now know that our solutions to this quadratic equation is going to be imaginary, or a complex number set. Okay, so we're going to use a complex number set to evaluate our function here. And so the negative root of 12 is, the root of negative 12 is also equal to 2i times root 3. And now we can move on with our evaluation here. So we're going to have 1 plus or minus i root 3. And the values of x that satisfy our quadratic equation here are going to be 1 plus i root 3 and 1 minus i root 3. Okay, and how I got uh, 2i root 3, if I want to show it here. So negative 12 can also be written as root of negative 1 times the root of 12. And root of negative 1 is equal to i. And a root of 12 can be written in its radical form, which is going to be 2 times root 3. So that's how I got 2i times root 3. And then I found our zeros. And if you were to plug this into our quadratic function, and I'm not going to do that here, you'll figure out that, that these values actually make our quadratic function equal to zero. Okay. So this solution is correct. Good one. All right. So uh, that wraps up today's lesson on um, functions and algebra. If you have any other questions related to calculus or uh, functions or algebra or even chemistry, just submit them to one class and we'll get them done as soon as possible. But other than that, I wish you guys a good night and I hope you guys learned something. Bye, guys.